I have three sheets, 2021, 2020 and 2019, which I would like to consolidate into a new sheet. So let me show you a quick way how to do it. First, we need to create a table from data we have in each sheet. So I can press Ctrl T, click OK. And here I can name my table as 2021 table. I will do the same thing for 2020, so Ctrl T, table 2020, again Ctrl T, and table 2019. Now when I have my table ready, I can create connections. So I go to data from table. This opens Power Query Editor and pull the data from that table into Power Query. So I can make a simply connection, close and load to, and only create connection. I will do the same thing for other two tables. Close and load to only create connection and the last one here close and load close and load to only create connection now i have three connections created and i can go to get data combine queries and append. Here I can consolidate together tables I created. So this option is if you have two tables, if you have more of them, you can use the option for more tables. So I put here all the tables that I have, click OK. And now I have ready my data where I have consolidated three tables. I can Close and load to and click on table on new worksheet. Now all those three tables are together consolidated in this new table on new sheet. Now let's say I want to consolidate those three tables into a pivot query directly, not to a new sheet and table there. I would do the same thing here. So go to combine queries, append, three or more tables, 2019, 2020, 2021, without this one. OK. Now if I go to close and load, close and load two. I will not choose table, but pivot table report. And I want it on existing worksheet on summary here. OK. Now my pivot is ready, so I can do a similar view that I did here with uh, indirect function. So I can put here supplier. On the top, I will put years and then values. And you can see that I have the same data as in the table above. Let me sort it from largest to smallest and format it. Now I see the same numbers as in table above. If I want to see some different view, let's say I want to see how many orders we had there for each company, then I can put there instead of values, 
count of all the numbers, not the sum, but count, and it will show me how many orders we had from each company in each year. And that's it. Hope you like.